Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today we're going to make some quick and easy plaid trivets. Okay, so I don't know about you, but somehow my trivets always disappear or else they get kind of dingy looking. So I decided to make some more. I've been doing a lot of entertaining and I always need more trivets than I have. And as I was thinking about what I wanted to do, I wanted to do something that was a quick and easy project, but had a little bit of style to it. And I always like a plaid. So I made two different versions. I made one in more muted colors like this and then one in very fall like bright colors like this. And I think I'm gonna make a bunch more. I have all of these packs of um, cotton yarn that I bought from Hobie and I'll show you which yarn and I'll also link it in the description below. And I think I'm gonna use it to make a bunch of these. The only stitches you need to know for this tutorial are the chain, the single crochet and the double crochet. The most difficult part about this tutorial is keeping your skeins of yarn from getting tangled up. And I do have a tip for you, so don't worry. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on our trivets. Okay, so for these trivets, I'm gonna use 100% cotton yarn. I don't wanna use acrylic because if I'm gonna put heat on it, it will melt acrylic. So make sure you get 100% cotton. You can also use 100% wool but in this case, I'm gonna use cotton. And I'm going to choose three colors from this rainbow pack to make my trivet out of. And I think I'm gonna go kind of fall like with this red, orange, and yellow. And this is the Rainbow Yarn by Hobie. It's 8-8 eight, eight quality. And let me just take out the colors I'm gonna use. I will put a link in the description to this yarn. These came in these packs of eight, and I, I bought several in different colorways. I really like them for these projects. So here's one skein of it, and it's 100% cotton, 50 gram skein, and approximately 82 yards per skein. It's a three weight, and does it give me the name of this color here? color 58. The orange is color 57 and the yellow is color 54. So those are the three that I'm going to use and I'm going to consider this my dark color, my orange will be my medium and my yellow will be my light. I'm going to use a four and a half millimeter hook, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. Okay, so I'm going to start with my darkest color. I like that Hobie has these on the end. It makes it easy to find the end. Okay. Now, I'm going to chain 31 with this. If you want to make your trivet a different size or make it into a placemat or something else, you wanna chain a multiple of six, and I would use an odd multiple of six, and I'll tell you why, plus one. So a multiple of six plus one, and my preference is an odd multiple because each square of your plaid is gonna be six stitches. And I wanna start with a color and end with that color on the same row. And to do that, it has to be an odd number of squares. So again, up to you, but my preference would be an odd number of multiple of six plus one. So 31, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty, thirty-one. Okay, all right, so I have my 31 chains and now we're gonna begin the plaid pattern. So what I'm gonna do is in the second chain from the hook, I'm gonna do a single crochet, and in the next chain, a double. Now, this yarn is not mercerized cotton, so it does split quite easily. 
and a single in the next, and a double in the next. You can see how easy this splits, how easily. Okay, so that was our fourth stitch. Now we're gonna do a single in the next. That's our fifth. Our pattern is gonna be six stitches per color. And in the sixth stitch, I'm gonna start a double crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and hold it right there. Now I'm gonna grab my medium color There we go, this is my medium color. I'm just gonna drape it over my finger into like a loop like that. Put my hook in and pull it through those two loops. Okay, now what I like to do is keep my yarn always in the same position. And what I mean by that is I always, for every row, keep my darker color in the front and my lighter color in the back. It just is easy for me to remember it that way and it stops my skeins from getting tangled and you'll see what I mean. So right now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna let my orange tail just hang and I want to carry along with me the red because I'm gonna be switching back again. Okay, so let me just pull that tail tight. So now in the next chain, I'm going to put a single crochet in my new color, in my orange. And I'm gonna go right over that working red yarn, just like that, okay? Pull it a little tight with my tail there. In the next chain, I'm gonna do a double, keeping that red coming along. And in the next chain, a single. This is stitch three. In the next one, a double stitch four, then a single, stitch five. Now in stitch six, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna yarn over, go into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. I'm gonna drop my orange to the back, it's my lighter color, and pull my darker color up front. You see how my orange is behind this? And I'm just gonna pull through those two and begin with my red now. So now I'll do a single crochet, taking the orange along for a ride, and a double crochet. And a single crochet. And a double. This is stitch four. And you always know that the even number of stitches are double crochets and a single. And my sixth one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Yarn over, go into the chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. I'm gonna drop my red to the front. Pull up my orange pull it through those two and now continue along and bring this for the ride. So you're going to continue that for this row switching colors and you should end with a red stitch. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay so now I am at the last stitch which is a double crochet and at your very last stitch you're going to complete the stitch and the reason for that rather than changing colors the reason for that is when I turn, I want to continue doing red because I want to make this a red block. So I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and I'm going to be using red again right here. So I want to take my orange and I want to carry it along. So I'm just going to bring it up and around like that on the back and lay it. Here. and again it's behind my red, my red is forward. In my first stitch right here, that was my double crochet before, I'm gonna make sure I have that orange, I'm holding it there, I'm gonna go under it, just like that, and do a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, I'm gonna do a double. 
and the next stitch I'm going to do a single and the next a double and now your previous row is going to let you know what to do in the next a single you can see now we're on the last stitch here and we're going to do what we do to change colors we're going to go into the stitch yarn over pull up yarn over pull through two and now drop our red in the front and pull our orange through okay and then we're going to carry this along you can pull your yarn just to make sure that it's not getting loose in there and start going a single then a double and a single and a double and a single and our color changing half a double moving two dropping my orange to the back pulling up my red and switching colors so you're going to do that and get to the end of your row and then i will meet you there now i'm getting to the last color change on this row and i just wanted to show you something i have this tail here which is where i did my first introduction of the orange i am simply going to go over both the working yarn and the tail at the same time so i'm just going to go into that stitch do a single crochet and then the next i'm going to do a double just help me weave it in at the same time the next a single and the next a double and then a single didn't get in there <laughs> and finally a double and i am going to finish this all in the red just like we did in the previous row and chain one and turn my work and I pull this orange tail a little tighter because it was showing through a little bit but when I pull it that's hidden much more hidden okay so now I'm going to just let that tail hang because I probably will weave it back through a little bit and then cut it off all right, now taking my working orange yarn up behind again, I'm going to do the same thing as I did in the last row, and I'm going to do two more rows. I'm going to do a total of four rows because if we look at my sample here, I did each pattern for four rows and then I switched to the other colors. We're going to do two more rows of this and then I will meet you back here. Okay, so as I get to the end of my fourth row, my last stitch here, I just want to take a look at the sample. So what's happening is I use dark and medium on my first row. My next row, I'm going to be using medium and lightest. Okay, so that means that when I turn, I'm going to make my medium color work off of this one, which is my orange. So, Working into that last stitch, I'm going to do my half of a double crochet, weaving two loops, and then I'm going to drop my red, pick up my orange, chain one, and turn. All right, now for now, I'm just going to let my red hang here. I'm not going to use it. Sorry for shaking the camera. I'm using a different stand because my ring light, I don't know what's going on with it, but it will not hold up. Okay, so now I'm gonna work back doing my same thing that I was doing. So I'm gonna do my single crochet first. And then my double.
and then my single. Once you get this down, it's not hard at all. And then my double. And then my single. And then half of my double. Right there, leaving two loops on the hook. Now this color is gonna become my darker color, so that's gonna hang forward. And now I'm gonna introduce my lightest color, which is my yellow. Just gonna loop that over and pull it through those two loops. Just dropping my tail. There we go. And my yellow is gonna be in the back and my orange is gonna be in the front. I'm gonna carry my orange along. This part, if only my fingers would work. Okay. And I'm gonna go into that first stitch there and do a single crochet. There we go. And now we're running and a double. And then a single. Oops, let me drop my tail. I don't want to be carrying that along. And a single. He just does not want to <laughs> get out of there. Single. And a double. And a single. And in the last stitch, the usual, I'm going to do my half of a double crochet, drop my lighter color to the back, bring my darker color up front, pull it through, and now carry this along. So now I'm just going to continue in the same pattern until I have four rows. This is my first row, four rows of the medium and light. So continue that, I'll meet you there, and then I'm gonna show you how we bring this back up, our red back up. Okay, so when we get to the end of the fourth row of this second colorway, I'm on the last stitch here. I'm going to do the half of a double crochet, leaving two loops on the hook, and now I'm gonna be going back to the same colors that I used in my first row. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring my red working yarn up. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up and just lay it along the side nice and neatly like that. Chain one, turn my work. And now I'm gonna just let the yellow hang and I'm gonna be working with the red and the orange. And let me get the orange to the back because I like my lighter color in the back. So I'm gonna bring my orange right up here and I'm gonna start my first stitch right here. And I'm back and running now with the red and orange for four more rows. And that's all you have to do. And you bring it up just like this, and don't worry that you can see that because we're gonna be putting a border, so you are not gonna see that at all. So all you wanna do is continue the pattern in the colors you're using for five segments, I'll say, of four rows. So we've done this, we've done this. Now I'm gonna go back to my darkest and orange, then the lighter row, and then the darkest row. And when you finish your last stitch on the end of your top row, don't fasten off, and I'll meet you there. All right, so here I am at the end of this last row. I just did my double crochet. I've cut off the orange and yellow and left tails because I'm just gonna continue to work with my darkest color. As you can see here, I use the darkest color to do the border, and that's what I'm gonna do again here. So first, I'm just gonna put a stitch marker in here, 
because it'll make it easier for me to sew in my ends without my hook, without worrying about my hook. Okay, so the next thing I would say is sew in any ends that you have. You can try to uh, do your border over top of the tails, but it can get messy looking. So I'm just going to sew them in. I'll meet you back here after they're sewn in. And I just wanted to show you when I'm sewing them in, I took the orange down through the red, just down the side, and then I'm going to sew in in its own color because I think that'll be hidden much better. And I'll just then go along the edge of that color there to sew it in. And I like to go back behind where I was sewing. And pull it through just like that. And then I'll cut it off. So try to do it so that your colors, so that your tails are the least noticeable possible. Okay, I'll meet you after you're done sewing in all your ends. Okay, so here we are. All the ends are sewn in. I'm going to start by just marking this stitch as where I'm starting my border so I know when I get back around and I need to slip stitch. Okay, and now I'm just going to go down the side with single crochets. And you want to space them evenly. Try to get one in each row, just like this, all the way down. And there's about four rows per square, so, well, not about, it is four rows per square, so you know that you're going to want about four stitches per square, you, and you just keep going all the way down. This is just to finish it off and make it look nice and neat. Okay, when you get to the corner, you're going to put three single crochets in the corner just to turn the corner like that. And now you're going to continue doing single crochets all along this side here. Now this is my bottom and I know that I had six stitches per color so I'm basically going to do six stitches per color all along. One, two, three, four, and it's not critical, but it will keep it even looking, just like that. And you're going to go all the way across like that. You're going to keep going around. Every time you get to the corner, you're going to put three single crochets in the corner. And I will meet you when we get back to where our stitch marker is. Okay, and I'm back to my stitch marker here. So I'm going to put uh, three single crochets in that spot. One. Let me take it out now. It's getting crowded in there. Two and three and then I'm going to slip stitch to my very first stitch I made right there so that's my first round now all I'm going to do is do one more round I'll put the stitch marker here to know where I started I'm going to do one more round, same thing, but now I'm just going into my previous stitch from the round before and I'm going to single crochet all the way down. When I get to the corner stitch, I'm going to do three single crochets to turn the corner.
Okay, I'm coming to the end here. I'm coming around. And I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch. And I will fasten off and sew in my end. <laughs> if I can do that. And take the stitch marker out. So I'll sew in that end. And there we have it. Nice little trivet. You can do the bright colors or you could do a more muted version. All right, I hope you found that tutorial helpful. And remember, if you make these or any other projects, send pictures of your projects with descriptions to my email address at franysquare at gmail.com. The next crochet and tell is coming up soon. So if you get them in quickly, they will be added to that episode. If not, they'll be added to the next one. Also, if you have any questions at all about this project or any others really, you can list your questions in the comments below or you can send an email to my email address and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.